Now, this is the first focus and this is the second focus. This is the center. This is the moving point. Now, what I'm, what the definition of ellipse says is, its distance from the fixed point and the distance from the fixed line are in a ratio, and this ratio is always equal to the eccentricity, and the, which is for the less than one, right? Now, when I'm talking about the distance, this will be the directress, right? Now, the distance of this point can also be measured from this focus. Now, the common doubt everybody gets is that I know that SP upon PM, this is equal to E. That I know by the definition. Now, is S dash P upon PM also equal to E? Is this, distance also, is this ratio also equal to E? This ratio should be equal to E. Right? But this is a general doubt that uh, yeah, agar, if this ratio is coming out to be E, then the distance from the other focus, the ratio of the distance from the other focus and the directrix should also be but in this case, just pay attention over here. In this case, when I am seeing the distance from this focus, I have to see the corresponding directrix. And what do I mean by corresponding directrix is that I have to see the distance from the other directrix. Right? So if I am seeing the focus which is on the left side of the ellipse, I have to see the left directrix. Similarly, if I am seeing the distance from the right focus, I have to see the right directrix, right? So this distance can be said PM dash. So I know that SP upon PM is equal to E and S dash P upon PM dash is equal to E, also equal to E. So now I'll discuss, now you'll easily understand the concept of focal distances. So what do I mean by focal distances? It is pretty much clear by the heading only that these are the two distances from the focus. So if the point is such that this is a point x1 comma y1 right this is the point x1 comma y1 these are the two foci a comma 0 and this is minus a comma 0 and this is the directrix. Now I need to find the two focal distances. Now guys instead of finding the focal distances by distance formula is there some other way like that one will be a very long way. Right. If you try to find out the distance between these two points, applying the focal, uh, implied, applying the distance formula, that will be the long cut. But I need to see the shortcut. So the shortcut will be, if you see the ratio SP upon PM, you know that this ratio is always equal to E. Right. So if you want to find the focal distance, what you can find is the product of E and PM. So the product of E and the distance from the directrix will give you the focal distance. Right. And this equation is x is equal to a upon e. So the distance of this point from x is equal to a upon e can be easily seen. Now if we see that the epsisa is x1 and this is a upon e. So that this distance, this distance pm will come out to be ae minus x1. So we can write it as a upon e minus x1. So this is clear to everyone because we have this whole distance as the abscissa of this point and which which is equal to a upon e and this distance will be equal to x1 so this distance comes out to be a upon e minus x1 right so let's move on to the next distance which will be s dash p so s dash p i'm writing over here s dash p will be can be written as e times p m dash as i've explained earlier that if you're seeing the distance from this focus you have to see the distance from the corresponding directrix which is the left one right so now this distance will come out to be the addition of these two distances this distance is a upon e and this is x1 so this will come out to be a upon e plus x1 on simplifying on simplifying this thing sp comes out to be a minus e x1 and s dash p comes out to be a plus e x1 so these are the two focal distances of a moving point. Okay. What you need to know is the x coordinate or the abscissa of that point. You can easily find the focal distances. Now see the beauty about these two fo focal distances is that if you add these two focal distances. Now listen to this very carefully. 
if you add these two focal distances, this EX1 will cancel out. And what you will be left with is SP plus H dash P is equal to 2A. And what is 2A? In case of ellipse, this is equal to the major axis. So that's the beauty of ellipse that wherever, whichever the point be, be it this point P1 or P2, the sum of the two focal distances, like the dif distances from S and S dash, the sum of these two distances will always be equal to 2A. Okay, so sum of these two distances comes out to be 2A. So now we can write a new definition of ellipse, which I was talking about. Now we can say that an ellipse is locus of a point whose sum of distances, right, sum of distances from two fixed points is constant, right. So we can say that ellipse is the locus of such a point whose sum of distances from two fixed points, fp means fixed points is equal to constant and this, this constant is equal to 